Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and today we will have a good time in understanding science. If you notice in the last few days we were talking about too much about science. And you know that the funny thing is that we found there's a lot of Abdul between the Christians too who decide to follow someone like Darwin even they claim to be Christians and they say there's no really no problem to believe in Darwin. Uh, you know when you see people compromising their faith, it means they have no faith. Those are the Muslims. The Muslims, they heard about the Big Bang. They know that the Big Bang had nothing to do with the Quran. They say the Big Bang is in the Quran. They compromise, they lie in order to make their religion fit with science. And there is some, they claim to be Christian. They do the same. You know, they want to convince himself that, uh, you know, uh, science in total agreement with the Bible, you know. And uh, I don't know what science they are talking about. I mean, is it scientific that Jesus, he put some mud on the eye of somebody and he make him see? Is it scientific that Jesus is born of a woman, she never have a man? I mean, uh, we are people, you know, this is, this is when you have a fake believer. A fake believer, he fake his belief. You know what I mean? A fake believer is somebody he fake his belief. A fake believer who, you know, he, he tried to make his belief a, a kebab in the eye of somebody. Just because this is what people like to see. I go with the market, you know, it's like a market. So, you know, I advise those people, either you leave your belief, you're an idiot, because you're an idiot. If you are not convinced with it, don't try to make it sound something else. So when you say you follow Darwin, you idiot, I say to you, you are no Christian. As simple as that. All those, and, and by the way, when you say theory, you idiot. It means it's a theory, you idiot. That's why the word theory is before it. Do you know what the word theory is? Theory. So, you know, but I don't blame them, by the way. I blame the schools who poison the mind of those one day they used to be kids. And they told them that Darwin is the one, Darwin is the guy, Darwin is, you know, you know, and then, and then they told them there's a lot of evidence, like the Big Bang, there's a lot of evidence, they have zero evidence. It's just a theory. And the theory does not even make sense for a second. And then they made the machine in, in, uh, in Europe, uh, a machine for the Big Bang, called, cost them billions of dollars, and then they could not generate even a, a, a dust. Anyway, stupidity, as we say, always amazing. However, those who try to make the religion shish kebab, obviously, you are a shish kebab. Like, there is one of two things. Either your religion is shish kebab, or you are shish kebab. Choose one, maybe both of you. However, if you are a Christian, and you try to make your religion, or your belief, fit with something, let us say the saint discover or let us say a scientist came today and says uh, there is no way there's a woman she can have a child without a man I mean uh, we have to agree with him science this is science uh, the Bible says that Jesus is born of a woman she never have a man so now what would we do so either you are a person who believe that God is not under the law of nature because he is the one who broke every law of nature he is God. He is the one who created that law. That law is caused for you, not for him. So, what is scientifically correct, it can be stupidly correct too. Because always there is a machines of propaganda who is supporting an idea. The atheists always, they want to fight Christianity. That's why you see the atheists, even now, they take side with Islam. Who is the number one enemy for me? You know? Who is the one who, let us say, what they want to use the word enemy for what I say, what I do? Facebook, YouTube, Google. Well, that's the truth. They are atheists. They are the one who protect the devil of Muhammad. So you will find always that, I'm not saying every atheist support Islam, but generally speaking, the majority, they support Islam with no limit. Not only that, they are willing to die for it. And the purpose is to fight Christianity. That because of their stupidity, because if Islam take over, they will be tortured. They will be demolished. You know, 
It's for the mercy of God that you have a Christians living among you who don't believe in killing others and they don't agree with them. But just wait. Let us see the one who are supporting what they will do to you. So, atheism and Islam, both of them, they are aggressive cults. The second you don't agree with them, they are all over you. And they are violent too, you know. I mean, you might hear that uh, Islam teach violence. Atheism is way violence too. Stalin, he used to sign every morning before he drink his coffee in order to execute more than 5,000 people. If the number is less than five, he questioned. Why the number is less than five? Even Muhammad did not do that. They bring in the coffee, and Stalin now he is going to drink his coffee, and they give him a piece of paper, and the piece of paper is to sign execution of a couple of thousands, and if the number is less than five, he is upset. Five thousand, not five people. The president of North, North Korea, he's an atheist. I'm not going to explain to you what he do. This guy, even he killed his own brother. I will not be even surprised if he killed his father or not. So they share a lot of things. And the second you go against what they believe, they are the same as Muhammadan. So I receive messages. A person, he says to me, I'm not going to donate for you. I was supporting you in Patreon. And I'm not going to donate for you no more. I said, okay, please don't. It's not an honor for me. And please, if you are listening to me, if you're an atheist, and you donate a dollar for me, go and just delete your donation. I don't want it. Just take it. Anyway, so this guy, he made a drama. And then, uh, guess what? He donated one dollar, and the dollar never come through. Which means it was a fake uh, credit card number. Uh... So they try to fight you, and they go aggressive. Go and see the comment of those atheists. Actually, I noticed that all they are the same. You know, when I spoke about Hinduism, I spoke about yoga, they go crazy. The Hindus who support me, Christian Prince, you are amazing. Christian Prince, you are wonderful. We love your videos. The second you say something about Hinduism, the Hindus is all over you. Where is the one who says Islam is not tolerance? And you know, it turned to be they are the same. Same as the atheists. Anyway, as the Chinese says, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. And you know, I'm waiting for evolution to work with me because I want to improve my uh, organs. You know, I want to fly. And I hope soon I will be able to fly. Actually, I, I can't fly from now because yesterday I started thinking about becoming a bird. And, you know, after like, it takes time, supposedly. This is, some, this is something like slow process. But it's, ha it's going to happen sooner or later. So now I gave order to my cells, uh, you know, like, uh, let us work in this from now. And we discuss it. They said it's going to take like three million years, you know. I said, so what? We start from now, now better than uh, later, you know, now come on. You know the thing. So in three million years, uh, I, this, is, uh, this is how I will look like, you know. I will improve my organs and I will be able to, not exactly how I look like, I mean, come on, it's not the same. You know, I don't want to eat like just, uh, you know, uh, you know, seeds and, you know, I want to eat like uh, shish kebab too. Yeah, hello. Uh, anyway, so, you know, it just, uh, you improve yourself and by time you will be something. So like, you know, I will die as a Christian prince. I will come back maybe as a, a flamingo, you know. And then all girls want to take a picture with me. I mean, I spend my life, nobody want to take a picture with me. And now, if I became a flamingo, man, you can imagine how many, you know, beautiful women they will take, yeah, take, take a picture with the flamingo. And they like, this is me, like, <laughs> yeah, take picture, take picture. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> it's happening. What a stupid people. Stupidity is amazing. And if you are a Christian, if you are a believer, you don't follow those dumb. You see, they all even call me Taliban. You know, Taliban. You know, Taliban. You know, Taliban. You know, and they, and they lie about us. They say the Bible teach that the earth is a flat. The Bible is the only book ever in history before all science who says the globe of the earth hanged on nothing. This is the Bible. 
hanged on nothing and the shape of it is like a globe or a sphere. Before all your scientists exist, but we don't brag about it, say the Bible is a book of science. It's not book of science. It's a book of miracles and miracles is above science. When Jesus walked in water, is that science? When Jesus made the blind see, is that science? When Jesus said to the man who cannot walk, walk, is that science? No, it's not. So those who they are desperate, who have no faith, is those who they bow down under the feet of science and they compromise their religion, they compromise their text, they compromise their books because they are fake and their religion is fake and they are following of a fake God. So you cannot be Christian and you do the same as those people. Now we go to our topic. The title is, we have only 466. If a woman talking about her lipstick, we will find more. What's wrong with those people? Okay, let's change the title and put a picture of a woman doing lipstick. Let us see how that will increase the size of the viewers. Hold on. How to, I will change the title. I don't know even how to pronounce, I mean, to spell the, the, the word uh, stick, lips a stick. Uh, here we go. Uh, correct. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that will bring a lot of people, you know. Just wait. I'm trying to find even a decent picture to put it in the screen. I mean, I just typed the word stick. I found a lot of crazy stuff. What the heck is that? Okay, well, maybe this is a little bit decent. Okay, we will change the title. Hold on. The best way to do your lips is thick. I mean, even Goga can't understand what I'm saying. All right. What is the best way to do your lips is thick? Here we go. The title changed now. <clears throat> and now we have a picture of a lady, you know, and she have I mean her teeth is really big somebody in atheist he would say she used to be a horse <laughs> you never know you never know <laughs> you never know anyway so how to do lipstick okay the number was 466 now it's 418 the number is going up okay you take a beer yeah you know okay yeah uh -huh, yeah Soon we will be like, hey, how to do lipstick? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. That's what people like. Mm -hmm. Speak about God, nobody come. Speak about, no, no, no. just speak about lipstick. The shortest skirt. Shortest skirt will make it faster, by the way. If short skirt, the view will go like skyrocketing. You know, you see like those videos on YouTube of a grid living, of a grid. And then there's a girl, she is showing her bum. And she have 10 million in less than a year. And I look at my video like, what? The poor me, I stay for four hours fighting with people, explaining, arguing, you know, having heart attack. And then I... <laughs> look how fast the number is increasing. Well, look at this. From 400 to 500, uh, almost, yeah, okay, that's good, and that's good. It's a, it's a great sign how to do left stick. And a very important topic, actually, to be think about it. I mean, <laughs> this is very extremely important. Uh, maybe I should have changed the topic, like to make it how to do left stick when you are driving. Mm, that, that will bring a lot more. So anyway, what you can do. Let us put back the original. Look at this. We have 100 more just by changing the title. Look how fast. 
Oh boy. Okay, let's change the title. Go back to the old title. And now the number will decrease. Anyway, so you know the topic today is about women. And, uh, you know, the Quran is a book of intelligence, as you know. I mean, it's for sure. The one who wrote the Quran is a super being intelligent. You do not need to prove that. I mean, it's not even a question. It's like it's, it's like you are trying to prove to me that Joe Biden was not sleeping when he was meeting the Israeli prime minister. No way. I mean, there's, there's no need to, to, to I mean, come on. It's clear. So Allah is super intelligent. How we, how Allah he reached such an intelligence? How he can do that? Let us let us figure out together. Uh, I have a serious question. My ex-wife. Uh, maybe you can help me. Is a Yoko one or a man or a woman? Uh, you don't give me you know uh, silly questions, otherwise I will block you because you just wasted my time reading your stupid text. All right, I'm, I just warn you. Uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran, uh, the Book of Wisdom for sure, chapter two, verse number two eighty two. Look how long the translation. I mean, the Arabic is few lines. The English is a book. Anyway, let us go and see what this uh, talking about. So, you know, this verse in the Quran, if we can call it a verse, and by the way, the Muslims, they took the verse and the numbers and those things, they they uh, like, uh, they copy the way the Bible was written. They tried to make a book similar to the Bible. Otherwise, you know that those Arab, even Muslim, they say their prophet himself did not know how to write, how to read. And all of us, we knew that Allah never said to Muhammad, this is verse number 282, you know? And this is chapter, uh, uh, the cow. And Allah never quoted the cow, by the way. So when the Muslim, they decide to make a book, they look at the Bible and they try to do the same. They give it a name and then they give it numbers. The chapter number, verse number, and they create a verse. And the word ayah in the Quran itself is a story from the Bible. But anyway, our topic is, Oh, who you believe, when you contract a debt for a fixed period, write it down. Sound good? Very, very good. Let a scribe write it down. Injustice between you. Let no, not the scribe refuse to write uh, as Allah has taught him. Hmm. Allah, he taught the scribe. Let it go. Okay. And then he continues and he says, And in the case, in the case like you borrow money from each other, get two witnesses out of your men. Here you notice that the Quran insists that the witnesses have to be men. But there is exception, because what if somebody is borrowing money and there is no two men? There is no enough men. Muhammad, he and his God, for sure, the super being intelligent, he come with a solution. And when I say solution, this is not solution, this is solution. And if there are not two men available, then a man and two women. That's deep. Look at this. So. The witness for borrowing money, and by the way, this is only for borrowing money. Two women are not accepted in other witnesses. Islam forbid women totally from being witness in the way or anything have to do with capital punishment. As an example, a, a, a killing or a theft. Even if a million women, they saw a man killing a man, those women are not accepted because they have to be men. This is only in the case of borrowing money. So, if a man want to borrow money from different men, he have to provide two witnesses 
additional the two men because the, the man who borrowed the money he cannot be a witness you know I mean you are the one you are part of it so you have to do to get to additional men which mean if the two men dealing with each other then we need two more men and that will make them four in order to accomplish this contract but what if there is no two men then two women and one man okay why two women and one man remember it was two men two of your men then because there's no two men there's only maybe less one two men will be will become one man and two women but what if there is no man at, at all at all you cannot do it then women are not accepted at least you have to have one one, one man that uh, remind me of Ibn Battuta you know the, the Muslims are so proud about him Ibn Battuta he went to an island all the women there they have a three breast <laughs> I mean, this guy, he exceeded the, the, the lies of F. Muhammad. Brother, one of the first discovery channels in the world, he was a Muslim brother. His name is Ibn Battuta. Yeah, Ibn Battuta, who found an island full of women and they have three breasts. I, I was there, by the way, you know? And actually, I wanted to do breastfeeding for adults, as the Prophet said, but I was confused. Which one? I mean, there are three. I spent like two hours looking at them, like which one, you know? And then I decide to make like a lotto to choose which one to drink from it. Anyway, this is out of our story. So, two men and one woman. Sorry, two, 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 uh, two men or one man and two women. But if there's no one man at least, then it doesn't matter how many women you have. That is not valid. Do you understand? So, if there's no one man at least, there's no contract. The existence of the man is what make the contract valid. This is number one. But why is that? If we continue reading, we will find the reason behind this. And here you see the supreme wisdom of Allah. He said, so one man and two women, okay, such as you agree for witnesses and not only that those two women you have to agree upon them and you can read the interpretation they will say to you well you have to ch you have to choose women who they are valid so not just a woman she have to be valid because most of women according to islam they are bad so so if one of them and here you see the supreme intelligence the sign of intelligence of muhammad and his god so if one of them of those two women Errs, this is the translation. Uh, then the other one can remind her. Who is a Muslim? He agree with this. A hey, father, father. You see, you can come here. You can insult me. You can say whatever you want. You want to insult Jesus? I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Get lost. Son of Muta. We allow you to, to insult me and to say whatever you want, but don't don't go that much far. We will put you in a box, ship you a free and let Allah help you. Coward. So, if one of them she err, the other one can remind her. Who is a Muslim here? He agree with this. Who is a Muslim? He agree with this. I want you to think deeply and help me to see if this is stupid or this is super smart anyone notice something here who is thinking with me forget about this father guys forget about him we, we just kicked him out that's it what you want to spend the day talking about him now focus with me 
Otherwise, we will go back to Lipsis thing. So, anyone notice with me something wrong? Anyone? What is wrong in this? Is there something wrong? I want to see how people think. So I'm not going to say anything. I will wait for you, uh, people, to help me. What is wrong with this statement? You see, I'm using the Muslim translation. I'm not going even to change it for a second now, even though I don't agree really with what, what it says, because it says tabul, you know? Uh, in other words, which means Allah, he, you know, he used this used word, the wrong word, because dalla in Arabic is from dalal, you know, being, being like a, a, a bad person, you know, which would nothing have to do with memory, like, because obviously you are doing it wrongly. You are not being decent, maybe. But as long as they are saying that this is about her, she is doing an error, and the other one can remind her how that can be. Hmm. Sir Arrow, okay, Sir Arrow, he is calling me a dump, okay, and he gave us an answer. So, Arrow, Mr. Arrow, you are a Muslim? Well, uh, and, you know, I don't know, uh, sometimes the intelligence is beyond understanding. And he's a man, as you see, he's not a woman. So, I don't know why his intelligence is like this. So, look, he just posed for us what the Quran is saying. We are, we are waiting for the explanation. He posed for us what the Quran is saying again. That's deep. Look at this. It's written, if one woman err, the other one, the other can remind her. It's because of reminding other women. Well, that's deep. I mean, how you come to this answer, man? But this is the same as the verse saying, you did not add one word. Ah, oh, you add the word because? I want you to give me an answer. If one woman, huh? if a woman err, the other woman can remind her how that work. Explain to me. I'm just waiting. What you what you posted for us is just repeating what the Quran is saying. If a woman err, the other woman can remind her. Explain. Who is a Muhammadan? He have explanation. Just to show you, I'm not going to make you wait for long, the stupidity of the author of the Quran. As long as the Quran stating that women, they are obviously, they have a mental issue. They are not smart. They are not intelligent. And they will err. So if you have first women or second women or three women or ten women after, who cares? It's the same. They are women. As long as the Quran saying one man and two women. Okay, what is the reason? Obviously, according to the Quran, women, they have a defect in their brain. So how you can support by solving a problem, by bringing someone, he have a defect too. So the first woman, she have a defect. Why? Because she is a woman. Okay, the second woman, she have a defect too. Because she's a woman too. <laughs> and if the second woman it's impossible for her to be having defect that's mean the first one too should be impossible for her to have defect why one man do not need another man to remind him because he don't have a defect one, one, one man is enough so the stupid Muhammad and the stupid Allah he come with the conclusion and solution that if one of them she is deficient the second one will not well, why, is, why the first one have deficiency in their, her brain because she's a woman. Okay, but isn't the second one is a woman too? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what if the second woman she she gave an error to? <laughs> she is a woman, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to borrow money from you guys and I will ask women to be witnesses and they will forgot a couple of zeros I love it you know like ladies do you remember how much I borrow from this guy uh, remember like it was 10 uh, okay thank you yeah see 10 dollars not 10 millions you know thank you women I appreciate that so the stupid author of the Quran supposedly is finding a solution claiming that women they have brain issue and now he want to fix it how he fix it two women but there are women anyway and as long as it's possible for the first one to err because she is a woman well the second woman highly possible she will be and why she will not actually isn't she a woman too isn't it allah he made all people equal That will make them two errors. Two errors. Here you notice that the author of the Quran is not only mentally ill, is silly and stupid. Now, for those who like, like science, uh, which I don't really, you see, I don't call it really science. I mean, uh, uh, science today have uh, many... Uh, branches but many of those branches called science anyway I mean like uh, you study law this is a science of law you study uh, human behavior which is a law you study it too uh, science of a uh, uh, human be behavior but if you go and see those shrink who they are called the shrink doctors who che like uh, who deal with people who have a uh, let us say a depression or any kind of uh, distress or something you will see that the doctor himself he need a mentor and he need a doctor most of them they are mentally ill and how they can deal with people who they have some problems so but anyway according to science for those who like science don't the muslim like science uh, big bang dr dakanaik brother and sister there is scientist his name is dr don tigabdikutivrini is uh, john what john tigabdikutivrini uh, 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 the last name his name is italian and i can say it Ah, the Italian, ah, is a Byzantine, ah, okay, <laughs> exactly, okay. So what, what this guy, he said, uh, Zakar, right? that according to him, women are stupid, and you can prove it. Okay, how you can prove it? Furthermore, if I ask you, who is the first one who taught you? Um, uh, in my case, my mother. In your case, who? Exactly, my mother. Ah, that explains why you are so stupid. So your mother is a stupid, and now you became a stupid. I, I got it. Exactly. Like, like, uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, not exactly. Okay. So according to scientific study, women do have better memory than men, says the study. It's official. It is official. Women have better memory than men. In a study published in the Journal of Mono Monobola, uh, women aged 45-55 years perform better in all memory measures. All, all memory measures. Uh, come on, leave something for the men for the sake of, of the shin of Allah. I mean, all? Like, what the heck? I'm, I'm upset right now. Like, all, all? I mean, that, shouldn't you leave something for men? Okay. Anyway, there's tons of articles on the all our scientists. Scientific, scientific, this is not the Christian website. This is not Muslim site. This is not atheist site. This is just a you know medical journal. You know, uh, but forget about scientific study, who they are proving Islam to be stupid. But isn't it true that your mother, she remember things your father never remember about you? Isn't it true if you take your wife with you to an occasion, let us say you go to a wedding party, you come back home, you ask the man, what happened there? He don't remember anything. He don't remember what his friend were wearing, 
what the bride was wearing, what the food he ate, they remember nothing. You ask the woman the same question, she will give you details, what the women she was wearing, what her ears are, the ring in her hand, and the, the shoes in her, in her feet, and the color of them, and the design, and you know, This is a fact. They give you details. There's no man in earth can remember. So how the Quran saying such a stupid thing? And here, why he, by the way, this verse in the Quran bring destruction to Islam. Anyone knows why? How this verse dis 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 destroy Islam? Think with me. How this verse destroy Islam? I don't know what's wrong today. I mean, usually we have a lot of people here. Is YouTube hiding our channel or what? They can do it. Atheist. If you go and check whatever Muhammad he said, who is number one resource for what Muhammad said? Aisha. If I type the word Aisha, I will find thousands and thousands of hadith reported by Aisha. Let us see, hold on. Based on the Quran, Whatever Aisha she said is invalid. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see what the Quran did now? Anything Aisha she said is a poo based on the Quran because Aisha is an invalid witness for whatever happened to Muhammad and she witness. But all of Islam is based on what Aisha she said. Look at this. I can flip pages for years to come. All is Aisha said, the Prophet said, and because of Aisha said, the Muslim did do. Even about how to pray. Aisha she said, this is how the Prophet prays. So we pray like Aisha, Aisha she said. The prophet he said the following sentence before you know he do this okay we do the same as he say she said when the prophet he see the eclipse he go crazy and he do such certain prayer yeah, we do the same al-mazin uh, mizan saying Aisha is not number one in the hadith. Abu Huraira. Okay, hold on. A Muslim, he got so upset and he gave us a very, very important question. Let us put him in the screen. Make him happy and famous. Aisha is not number one in the Hadith narrative. Abu Huraira, I mean, look how stupid this guy is. 
So she is number two. Are you saying she is number two? Are you saying to me like uh, uh, Aisha, the thousands and thousands of hadith she said, and you Muslim, you follow them because you are stupid? You should follow only Abu Hurairah hadith? Are you saying that or what? And you idiot, you stupid. Abu Hurairah report what Aisha she said. Mostly. But he was not even there. Like the prophet he used to suck my tongue when he was fasting. Abu Hurairah was there. Are you saying that Abu Hurairah, he was in the bedroom of Muhammad when Muhammad was sucking the tongue of Aisha and he saw it and he witnessed it and he said it? Or he took that from Aisha? Idiot. By the way, I'm thinking to make you an admin in my page to attract more idiots. And the funny he says to me, liar. <clears throat> Let us say something kind of funny. This is your Islamic website. And it says there that Aisha is reported to be the most known of hadith narration of the Prophet. And for sure, they give you numbers of every book, how many hadith is coming from her in every book. Abu Huraira, you idiot, he reported a thousand five hundred hadith. Here they are saying that, not me. But all of those, most of them, they are coming from Aisha anyway. Which means Aisha, she reported way more than him. However, who care? Who, report, who said more? As long as Aisha she is an valid witness, then Islam became invalid because you Muslims, you worship Aisha. This is why you kill the Shia because they insult Aisha. As simple as that. All this teaching is coming from Aisha. Who was there? Nobody. Who can confirm it? Nobody. I was sleeping in the front of the Prophet SAWS with my legs between him and the Qibla. Can you show me Abu Huraira reporting that? Because that would be fun. Aisha, she go and sit between men and she speak about her vagina, about her menstruation. She speak about how they drop blood from their vagina. 
Obviously, this woman, she have no shame. All right. Let us see. I'll give you an example. This is a hadith from Aisha. Fantastical. Once one of the wives of the Prophet of Allah Messenger joined him in itikaf, the prophet the prophet doing masturbation, or they're supposed to be praying to Allah. She noticed a blood in yellowish and yellowish discharge from her. <clears throat> you see, they they put they put between two bracket between her from her private part. Aisha, she was sitting in front of men, telling them that there is something was coming from the <clears throat> of his wife <clears throat> while she was sitting with. <clears throat> So there was a drop, obviously she had an infection, sexual infection, because why she have yellow was discharge. All those things I learned, like I used to mention them, but those who study medicine, they told me this is infection, this is not right. Why women she have a yellowish discharge? She have a sexual, inf you know, infection. So a sexual infection, yellowish discharge, coming from her vagina, and she put a dish under her when she prayed. What is the proof of this? As long as Aisha, she is a woman and she is an unvalid brain to witness anything. And why Aisha is the one who volunteer for the stories always? Where is the rest? Aisha, she became the speaker of the White House of Muhammad, the Devil House. All the scandal of Muhammad is coming from Aisha. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. Disaster. Who of you Muslim dare to say Aisha is lying? Aisha is invalid. Here you see the hypocrisy of this religion. When they speak about women, they insult women, they say women are stupid, but when they speak about Aisha, they bow down. Al-Mazin, Al-Mizan, 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 his name is Al-Mizan, the scale. The Quran too, it does not say women forget, if a woman forget, it says if a woman errs. That's so good. You're a genius again. By the way, this is the same guy, you know, you block him, you come, you come back. You don't dare to call me, but he is like, uh, what, what his name last time? I forgot his name. And here we go. I need a woman to remind me. <laughs> Look what he said. The Quran does not, the Quran 2 to 82 does not say if a woman forgot it. It says if she erred. It's just to show you how stupid you are. I agree with you. The Quran does not say if a woman forget. The Quran, the Quran does not even say if the women err. The Quran says tadul, which means she's lost. She lost her mind. But look what you, what how stupid you, what you, what you are saying. You're saying it doesn't say if she forgot. It says if she err. So why the stupid Quran says so the other woman will remind her, you idiot, if she did not forget. Right now you agree that the Quran is written by a stupid fool. Because if she did not forget, then you don't say, so the other one she can remind her. Potato. So now me and Mr. Al-Mizan, we agree. The Quran is written by a stupid mental idiot. 
He agreed himself, and we saw his text. The Quran never said if she forgot. But the Quran says the other one they will remind her. <laughs> remind her? But she did not forget. And this is what you said, not me. Are you there, Abdul? This is what you said, not me. You said the Quran did not say if she forget. So why the other one she will remind her if she did not forget? Are you saying that the one who wrote the Quran is using the wrong word? Shame on you. There's a verse in the Quran about people like you. Allah will insert a chain in your anus. You remember the verse in the Quran? And every ring of that chain have equal iron to all the iron in the earth. I don't know how big is your anus, but you better take it. Have fun. Even your God torture, by the way, is a sexual torture. I mean, he could not find a place to torture a man except his anus. And like, why do Allah he enjoy it really? Like when he sees something going in the anus of a man? So when a Muslim, he tried to fix it, he make it blind. I am assuming that Al-Mizan is Dr. Zak and Nay. Christian Prince, I got you birthday. It didn't say if you forgot. It said if they are. Yeah, Zach and Nick, are you sure? Exactly, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to ask you for the second time. Are you sure? Christian Prince, I'm one of the tour. Okay, I will ask you for the third time. Christian Prince, you asked me for a million times, I will say tour. Okay, so if she is not going to, if she is not forgetting, so what the Quran says to the other women if she, she remind her? Is that clear? Zakir, Christian Prince, I have to go because my mother-in-law is coming and I have to watch the dishes. You, what you did, what dishes? Just answer me before you go, your mother-in-law. Which one of them? You have four. Don't, don't go now. I mean, come on. Christian Prince, my mother-in-law, the third one, he come and do inspection. And if the house is not clean, I'm going to do the reading. Like, what? At every meal. Allah knows best what he's saying. Zakir Naik, just answer the, the question. Why it says... She remind her if the first part of the chapter says, or the verse, if she err, is, if, is forgetting is an err? Stupidity is amazing. You know, even an atheist can do better than you. An atheist who he think he used to be a monkey, he became a human, he can do better than this. If we give that, this verse for an atheist, he will say, <clears throat> let, us, uh, let us fix this, okay? So he will change that verse a little bit. You know, he will like, he will do some touch up, right? So he will say, okay, hold on. Uh, we can fix it, no problem, because we are atheist, okay? So the verse here it says, and such you agree for witnesses, so that one of them, except if he is Joe Biden, the sleepy Joe, then you have to have three witnesses because Joe, he will be sleepy. And now it's fixed. Rick, what about the women? Okay. And uh, 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 if you have witnesses, get two women and one man, except... Uh, Camilla Harris, because she is always laughing and nothing, and she is not focusing and shaking, taking drugs. Ah, okay, now it's better. Uh huh. We have to agree. So she have to remind her. But how? Uh, how? Uh, how a creature who you just said she have a defect, she will remind other creature who have a defect. Aren't they the same maker? Aren't they the same producer? Isn't it this? They have the same equipment, both of them. It's like saying to me, we have window 98 and 
if window 98 did not function, use window 98. You see the stupidity, you know? If window 98 is outdated, is not running, use window 98. Like, what is that? How in the world this intelligence work? And then Muhammad, he jumped like a monkey from a place to place, saying things nobody can reject. Look, women, they are stupid, according to Muhammad. And then suddenly, women are so evil, they are the shaitan. No, I cannot find this hadith here. Where is the hadith? Let us see. Try a different hadith. No, I cannot find it too. So we have to find it in different... <clears throat> Let us see. Muhammad, he said that most of women, they are going to be the fuel and the wood of the hellfire. But why? The most of the women, and he's talking about Muslim women, remember, he's talking about women, who they are Muslims. But for sure, he's talking about women in general, right? But anyway, like, who they are not Muslim, anyway, they will be the fuel of heaven, of hell, for sure, right? According to Islam. But here he's saying, this is a message for Muslim women. Most of you are the fuel of hell fire. But Muhammad, he have a solution for the women who they are, most of them, the fuel of the hellfire. What is the solution? Give me your bracelet and give me your earring. <laughs> Unbelievable. So women, they are, most of them, they will go to hell. They are the fuel of the hellfire. But note, if you give me your bracelet and your rings and your earrings, the golden one, you will not go there. Any Muslim can explain to us how those bad women, who Muhammad calling them the fuel of hellfire, suddenly they will go to heaven if they give Muhammad their earring and their bracelet. Hey, women, do you like to go to heaven? Okay, do you like to go to heaven? Very easy. You have to give all your earring, all your gold, your bracelet, your jewelries to Muhammad. And then Muhammad, he prayed to Allah to take you to heaven. Even you are the most like disgusting person, you know, according to Muhammad. No problem. That's it, and you paid for it. I mean, you get what you pay for. Isn't it obvious that this man is a fraud? How he starts saying that he saw that women, most of them, they are going to go to hellfire. I observe a prayer with the Messenger of Allah on the day of uh, uh, Eid. Yeah, the day of the Eid, the holiday. He command he you know he command with the prayer before the sermon, without a than an iqama. Uh -huh. 
He did not even make uh, Iqama, he did not make Adhan, he started the prayer. Okay, Muhammad, you do as he wish. Then he stood up uh, leaning on Bilal. And Bilal, the poor slave, the black slave, used as a stick for Muhammad. And he commanded them to be guard against evil for the sake of Allah. Okay, and then he says, and he preached the people, admonished them, and then he came to a woman. He asked them to give alms for most of them. They are the fuel of hell. Brother, you are going to be the fuel of hell. But if you give the prophet your bracelet and your earring, you will not. Bilal, put your dress in the floor, brother. And now, all of you women, take off your earring, not your panties, just, we cannot take your panty, what, what you would do with it? It's very Victoria's Secret, it's important, it's very expensive, you can sell it in eBay. Oh, okay, in this case, put your panty with this jewelry, it's no problem, it sounds like it's a jewelry for me. So, and the prophet start collecting, connect, collecting all the money they have. You cannot understand Islam without your twisted mind. This hadith implied that women were not sacrificing. So, so what? Sacrificing like men. Like what? Look at this idiot. <whistles> sacrificing. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, you stupid idiot. You donkey, you certified idiot. Just to show you how stupid you are. Guys, this guy is super intelligent like Allah. You cannot understand Islam with your twisted mind. This hadith implies that women were not sac uh, sacrificing like men who sacrifice their lives for Islam and women don't give, even give charity. You stupid idiot. Isn't it your prophet? He says, the jihad of the women is hajj. That's it. She is doing jihad. So she's sacrificing the same. He, this is what he said to her. Jihad al Marah She go and go around the Kaaba wearing nothing. Same time, you idiot. If the woman she gave her bracelet, isn't it this is what the man he gave her? You see how stupid you are? So when your wife she gave what she have, isn't it what she have? It's you gave in her? Isn't it the Quran says the man he should be charging the women and you know because they spend money on them? So the man he give the women money and then the women she take your money and give it to the prophet and that make her sacrifice? Well she is sacrificing the money of the husband. Those earrings from the husband and those bracelets are from the husband. So the husband should go to heaven. Do you see the stupidity? Same time, Abdul. I, you know, I understand you are desperate trying to prove something. Let us go to different hadith, just to make it more clear. Not for you, because it's very clear for you. I mean, come on, you are, you are a Muslim. I never saw smart people like you. Is that because they are not sacrificing Muhammad saying, or because they have half a brain, you liar? Let us go to the very important hadith. The Prophet says, O women, folk, you should give a charity and be diligent in seeking Allah forgiveness because I have seen, i.e., the night of and so forever to heaven, the door of the hell, the majority of the door of hell are women. Women among them, she said, why, why the majority of the hell is us? The Prophet says, <laughs> you curse frequently, frequently, huh? and ungrateful to your husband. In spite of your lacking in wisdom and failing in religion, you are disbreathing, disbreathing uh, the wisest of men and of their intelligence. Do you see it? 
So Muhammad, he claimed, because women, they have a lack of intellect and lack of wisdom, and they are stupid, not like men, that will make them go to hell. Upon this, a woman, she asked, what is the deficiency of women of our wisdom? What? Look at the question. What is the deficiency in our wisdom and our religion? Read carefully. The question is so clear. Muhammad announced that women, they have deficiency in two things. Wisdom, which means the brain. Religion, which means they are not faithful. He said, your lack of wisdom can be well judged in the fact that the evidence of two women is equal to one man. <laughs> so you stupid when you said to me, the prophet, he meant if she err, he was talking about her if she is a stupid, not if she, she is a stupid. Correct people? Muhammad proving the lack of wisdom of women by what? By a verse he fabricated from the Quran saying that two men, one man is equal to two women. And the translation of the Muslim is so clear, the lack of wisdom. This is not my words. This is not me saying the word. This is not me inserting the word. This is your prophet saying, the lack of wisdom. Any Muslim have a comment? The lack of wisdom of women proven by the Quran one man equal to two men. Who said that, Muhammad? Who don't agree from the Muslims? All of you now did agree because already you made a lot of poo-poo. All of you made a lot of poo-poo, including this Mazin. He said to me, if she err, not forget, if she err. <sighs> Any Abdul? So now we have a complete image of what Muhammad he said in chapter 2, verse number 282. Why women she can't be a witness? Because she have a deficiency. And look, it's not me who is using the word deficiency. It is Muslims. Do you see it? This is not my website. This is not my translation. This is not my words. This is the Muslim website. They are the one who is saying, Muhammad, he said, that women, they have deficiency. And do you know what deficiency mean? What deficiency mean? Somebody teach me English. What does that mean? What does that word mean? Defect, what defect mean? Can somebody give me the the official, let us go to Google, peace be upon him. What deficiency mean? Dictionary. <clears throat> The quality or state of being defective or lacking some necessarily quality or element. The quality of a state or a state of being deficient, etc. So there is a lack, there is a there is an error, there is defect in the in the in their creation, there is something wrong in them. short in such a thing like you know thinking they have deficiency in their thinking they have deficiency here it's about the brain so what muhammad is saying 
that all women they are a defect and because of the defect by nature women they will go to hell but here you notice that the one who made this statement is the most stupid idiot ever who is a Muslim can prove me wrong who can challenge me if we ask Muhammad and who is the one who created the women they will say Allah who is the one who said women they have deficiency they say Allah Prophet which mean Allah so Allah he created them with deficiency and then Allah will punish them for deficiency he created people do you understand how stupid Muhammad is He's trying to say women they have deficiency in the brain but the fact by saying this statement he just proved that he is deficient himself because if Allah is the one who created the women and they are created in such a way that's mean the deficiency is coming from Allah so how you punish them for deficiency you created remember he's saying they will go to hell because of what? Because of the deficiency, which is lack of wisdom and religion. Okay, is that a nature? It is a nature thing, which means it's a natural thing. We are talking just about gender. We are not talking about specific women. Any any creature is a female, according to Muhammad, have deficiency in the brain. And Muhammad, he proved it, saying the Quran says, two men equal to one man, which means a man, he have two brain, women have one or half one. And then, because they have deficiency in the brain, and then because they have menstruation, look what the, the, the things is getting more horrible. Because they have menstruation, they don't pray the same as Muslims because Allah forbid them from praying to, uh, to, uh, when they have menstruation. So you stupid, you forbid them from praying when they have their menstruation, and that make them lack of faith. Since when the vagina cause a lack of faith excuse my language the vagina is a bleeding her faith is a bleeding too how stupid this idiot is is it Allah is the one who made them have Ministration. So Allah is going to punish women, send them to hell for two reasons. Number one, they have a lack of that, they have deficiency in their brain. Number two, they have ministration. <laughs> Any Muslim? Who is the stupid here? She have deficiency in her intelligence. And she have deficiency, deficiency in her religion. What is deficiency in her religion? Because when she have menstruation, she don't pray. But you forbid her from praying. Why you forbid her from praying? So now you forbid her from praying when she had menstruation and now that make her defect? This is how amazing the God of Islam. And now we find out that all women, they will go to hell because they have menstruation. Hey, atheist, do you think women, they can decide to not to have menstruation in the future, like fix this issue? As long as like you're a Darwinism, you know, like she can order herself there, like to not to do, like to change this, uh, you know, 
menstruation thing. I mean, what? Uh, come on. Uh, you do improvement, you know, Darwin, you know, she would order her private part not to go there and not to do this menstruation thing. And after a billion year, she would have, she would be menstruation free. And here you see that atheism, athe atheists and Muslims, they are the same bed. They're stupid things, you know, they say, they say stupid things, which is incredibly stupid. If you are an atheist and you get offended, I'm so glad. If you don't get offended, something wrong with you. What's wrong with you? And by the way, the atheists, they said to me, do you remember guys, once I, 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 uh, I have, uh, uh, what's his name? He's an atheist, Abdullah, Abdullah. He's, an, he's a Muslim, uh, ex-Muslim. He said to me, the earth is a flat in the Bible. I said to him, the earth, the, 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 the Bible says, like I'm using my limited English, uh, the Bible says that the earth is like a circle. He said, circle is flat. <laughs> circle is <a> flat. <laughs> In which direction is flat, you idiot? <laughs> circle, it's not, you know, I use, I, I'm not using the correct word, but circle is a virtual thing. It's not a flat, you donkey. It's not exist. What flat? We're talking about a shape. So as long as the earth is the earth is like one layer, you know, like it's it, you know, the whole earth, which means doesn't matter what direction you go, you are going to have a circle. And this is the word I used when I was speaking to him. Even though the Bible doesn't say read the word a circle, but I used the word, it came to my mind. So it doesn't matter what direction you will go, you will have that circle. So how that can be flat? Those are the atheists, they are dummy the same as the Muslims when it's come to speaking to science. They are stubborn. Yeah, sphere, like a sphere. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. But it doesn't matter, I mean, the idea is so clear. It doesn't matter what direction you are in. Let us say you will have a circle. That means the earth is not flat. And the Bible says it's hanged on nothing. So wherever you go, there's a curve. It's a curve in land. Yeah, yeah, but I'm telling you at that time what I used. I know, I know, I'm just telling you what I what I used with him. But the he says to me, the, the circle is a flat. So you notice that atheism and Islam, they join together forces, the force of evil to fight the Bible. That's why they always defend. Nobody defends Islam as much as atheists. Nobody. Go and see the strikes. Go and see the, the, the feminine organization. We are Muslim. Go and see the atheist actors. After 9-11, they go and they say, I'm a Muslim, and I'm a Muslim. And none of them is a Muslim. They don't believe in God anyway. So they go to TV, I'm a Muslim. So they support Muslim. What, what, what does that mean? Atheist. You see, I don't talk about atheist, but atheism is extremely dangerous. It is the same as Taliban. If they take over a government, they will force you to eat like Muhammad. But let us go to a hadith. Look, we finish this topic about women. Let us go to different hadith. <clears throat> Just to show you the similarity between atheism And Muhammad, which means Islam. This is Muhammad, he is saying the statement. He have a duty to kill all mankind. He have a duty to kill all mankind. You can read it slowly and you can slow the page. All of them are the same. When Muhammad will stop killing you? You see, the Muslims, they say to you, well, if you fight Islam, we fight us, we'll fight you. That's normal. That's not what Islam teach. Islam teach that Muslims, they have to fight everybody until either they convert or they die. And in the process, they are allowed to rape your wife, steal your money, and take your land. 
This is Muhammad and this is Sahih Hadith. The Prophet said, I am commanded to fight with men till they satisfy that there is no God but Allah. And that Muhammad is his servant, that's it. You have to say the Shahada. And then you have, after you do that, you have to pray in the direction of the Kaaba. So they force you even to, to, to pray, not only to pray, to pray in a certain direction. And eat what we slaughter, not only pray, not only you say Shahada, you have to eat the same food. And you have to pray like us. And when they do that, their life and their property are unlawful to us, except by due of them. Which means if you break any of these things, we take your property and your life. This is what atheism do. Go to China and don't pray like they pray, which means worshiping communist. communist. Don't eat as they eat. Did you see the, the president of North Korea when yesterday he was meeting with the youth? The youth, they were jumping from happiness, crying. This is all from fear. I mean, have you ever heard really that there is somebody he worship a president like this? I mean, it's as if God is coming. Fear. You see what fear can do? That's Muhammad. What what the name of uh, Kim Jong Sin Fong song? And you will see them crying, and you can tell it's an act because the the intelligence, you know, that the. the the secret service they are watching carefully who is not jumping so if he is not jumping kill him he saw the president he saw God and he did not jump like crazy he did not cry when he saw him how you can do that you cannot you have to cry you have to cry as much as you can I mean, what's wrong with you? And this is what the Muslims they do. People going crazy. <laughs> look, look, he's real. He's in front of us. I cannot believe it, brother. No way. His Majesty. Like, Come on! Like, yeah, atheism is wonderful religion, atheism. It brings freedom and freedom of speech and, you know, like you live like a human. That is Islam. There's no difference. It's just different face of the same coin there's a there's a muslim guy here have a video i forgot the name of the video I'm trying to find this video so you would die laughing. Yeah, here we go. I found it. You want to die laughing? Okay, hold on.
I'm trying to find the uh, the original video. I found the video, but it's like there's uh, some kind of uh, editing. I don't want it. I think this is the one. Here you see how much they are in love with the Prophet. I wish you guys would speak Arabic to, to, to laugh with me. But anyway, this guy, he gets so excited. This is how they show that they are believers. How they are believers, they scream and they go crazy. And look, this guy is jumping all over the place like a monkey. And the whole purpose is, want to show them that he is a true believer. I mean, come on, you cannot be a true believer without jumping like a monkey, screaming. You have to show them that you are a true believer. And you cannot do that without screaming and jumping. Let us see. No sound, I know, okay, okay, no problem, no sound. Don't worry, be happy. None of you, who's he speaking to? He says none of you will enter Jannah through your actions. None! Drink water. People walking around like he's already from the people of Jannah, mashallah. Mashallah. People now, they worship their mashayikh. 100% brother. These people. This guy's from Firdaus al-A'la. The Prophet of Allah sent the Sahaba. Turkey, what is that, man? You see the act? Do you see the act? Because that will make him a true believer. How much? And look, the blood is coming in his face. And I assure you that this guy is the... Uh, you know, all of them, those who do those actions, they are the most perverted ones who do everything wrong. Jump! But by the way, he just said something extremely important for our topic. He says, none of you is saved by his action. Did you hear it? None of you is saved by his action. Say it again, brother. Take People it now they worship the Mashaykh. 100% brother. Brother, yeah. This guy's from Firdaus al-A'la. The Prophet of Allah sent the Sahaba, none of you will enter Jannah through your actions. None! None! You're stupid as long none. So why are your prophet saying to the women, give your jewelry so you can go to heaven? Huh? Why your stupid prophet asking women to give their jewelries so they can go to heaven? Do you see how Muhammad by the help of the Mohammedan, get busted. If they will not go to heaven by their action, but isn't it giving your jewelries to Muhammad is an action? So why he get, why he said to them, give me your jewelries? Huh? Do 
you see how the fabricated scam, the fraud work? In one place, he said to the men, none of you will go to heaven with your action. Okay. You go to different places, seeing women, they have jewelries. You look at their jewelries, man, a lot of gold there. Look at the gold in her chest, oh boy. I don't know. Muhammad, focus on the jewelries now, not in her chest. I'm focusing there in the jewelries, not in her chest, you get me wrong. Yeah, but I saw you looking down, I mean, the, the jewelries is up. You know, just focus with me. Yes, uh, but do you think, uh, Christian Prince, how much this uh, necklace cost? You know, it's, I think maybe two thousand dollars. Oh man, two thousand dollars! I can get a big TV screen with this, five big TV screen with this. Okay. So, okay, women, I found a solution for you. All of you, you will go to hell. But if you go and you give me your jewelries, you will not go to Jahannam. See the see the amazing donkeys. Anyone, anytime, any religion, he make a speech saying, give me your money, then you will go to heaven, he is a fraud. Literally. In Christianity, you cannot bribe God. In Islam, Muhammad, he is making it sound like you can. Actually, the Quran says that. The Quran says, give Allah a mortgage. But you see here, Muhammad, everything he says is contradiction. How in one place you say, if you give Allah a mortgage, which means to Muhammad, do he spend it in his wives and killing people? Allah will double it for you ten times or a hundred times. And then you say to them, none of your action will take you to heaven. Lord have mercy. Today, I don't know why we don't have too many people here. Um, maybe the topic is not important for many, but I think this topic is extremely important. And remember, a man who believed that women are half brain, he just believed that he's half a brain too. Because you take half of the DNA from a woman. So if you believe that women, she have a defect, that's meaning you have half of it already, at least. That's when you have a defect too, in your brain. We need always to think about individual, not about gender. There is women, they are not smart. And there is men, who they aren't smart too. There is women, they are silly. There is men, they are silly. There is women, they are stupid. There is men, they are very stupid. Actually, most of men, they go strip it by seeing a short skirt. Just make a short skirt, walk around front, and the brain is gone. That's the scientist who is a scientist. Einstein he is not Einstein no more. He's Stein now. The Anish is gone. So, those who try to make, always you see in society, there's a group try to take advantage of other group. So there is discrimination in gender, there is discrimination in religion, discrimination in color. You have to find the discrimination to discriminate somebody so you can take over him. The purpose is control. The purpose is evil. The purpose how we can make that group subdued to other group, which us. So, in certain time, the black man, he enslaved the white man. As an example, the African, Egyptian, they enslave millions of white people. Then the white man, he enslaved the black man, millions of black people. Evil ones, always they try to find a reasoning to enslave and to take over somebody. And if they could not find, they find in their own society inside the house. The man, he enslaved the women because she is the weak physically. As long physically she cannot fight and resist. But who said that women, they are stupid? You know, how many husbands, they are donkeys, but their wife is super smart. They don't even deserve to have those wives. And it can be the opposite. It can be that the husband is so smart, the wife, she is so stupid. So we as human, we have to think not based on gender, based in individual. Talk to the person, what the Bible says. The Lord, he said, a very, uh, this is a very important sentence. I, for me, is the way I, I, I go through my life. Even the way I judge myself when I do wrong. The Lord, he said, 
from their fruits you shall know them those who speak wisdom they are wise doesn't matter if they are women or men those who speak foolishness they are foolish doesn't matter if they are men or women do you agree and the Bible have tons of verses about wise women there's a book it's called you know there's the, the, the judges you know who's the judges women they became judges women they can save nation and they can destroy a nation the same for men look we have Joe Joe Biden he is a man I mean this, this guy is a smart he went on TV, he says, we made the biggest victory by uh, taking 120,000 Afghani in one week. This you, you did that? Or our airplanes? And how many of Taliban, they joined those Afghani refugees now? How, how many Daesh, how many ISIS? They just put anyone want to go in the airplane and bring him here. Soon we will see. Just wait. No security check, nobody knows his name. Eh, just put him in the airplane, whoever in the airport, put him in the airplane. Send them to Germany, send them to France, send them to Ukraine, send them to uh, to all those. And they start dumping people in poor countries. They force those poor countries to take them. So, when Muhammad speak about women, she have a lack of intellect. That's a very stupid thing. That is an insult to your mother. Insult yourself if you're a man. Who of you believe that Mary, the mother of Jesus, she have a lack of intellect and she have a deficiency in her wisdom and in her faith? Any of you? Any of you think for a second that Mary, she have any of this deficiency? You see, our Lord, he gave a special honor to women. Destroying all the Jewish tradition, considering the women less and less and less. He came to us through a woman. So if the woman is unclean, then the Lord shall not come. People, they mix between things. Like, okay, and clean is a very flexible word. It's true. When you have menstruation, you are clean. But a man can be unclean too. You have to wash. You know, like the Jewish tradition, you have a man, he has to wash, blah, 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 before he enters the temple. This is the man. Even the man, if he is injured, even if he bleeds from his finger, according to tradition, you cannot go inside the temple. But this is the man. Not only the man. So blood considered as unclean, no problem. But that will not make it a reason to go to hell. That's stupid. When the Lord, he come to this earth through a woman, he gave us a clear message that the one who don't accept women, he don't accept me because I come to you. I came to you through a woman. Anyone who don't want to appreciate a woman in his life he is a fool because your existence was based on her one day you were nothing and it's your mother who carried you and your mother who take care for you and your mother who should cry for you when your dad maybe go to play with his friend some cards when you are sick but your mom she will not do that is that a deficiency in the brain The child he cry, the mother she cry with him. She try her best to help him. The father is upset. He want to sleep. Shut up this child. Who is the one who has deficiency? So we have to be just and we have to be vigilant. 
and we shall not let someone like Muhammad, the evil of his, this, this religion, to conquer our mind. A Christian person is someone who give himself, the same as a Christ, he gave himself to the church. And the Bible in Jesus, he made the women equal to the church. He said the man, he gave himself the same as a Christ, he gave himself to the church. He gave himself to the woman. And a good woman, the Bible described her as a jewel. She is a jewelry. In the same chapter here, actually, if we go, uh, I think verse number uh, maybe 10. But from verse number 10, you can talk about women. <clears throat> I advise you to read this chapter here. Who can find? Let us read that. This is, let us play this chapter. It's not long. So we can hear it together. Proverbs 31. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son, and what, the son of my womb, and what, the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good, her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor, yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known at the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen, and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honour are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up, and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. I mean to that. See how the difference is? Al Mazin al 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 I don't know what his name is saying. Why the Quran? As long you mention about women, why no chapter with Muhammad mother name? 
Okay. Let us put what this guy is saying just to for a laugh. You know, I, I, I don't be insulted when I say for a laugh because you must have, you don't, you don't make sense when you talk. I know what you say. You say stupid things. I mean, the, you see the Quran saying women are stupid. I can, I find that Muslim men, when they answer me, they give me the most stupid answers. Just look what you said. This is not me saying, this is you. As long as you mention about women, why no chapter with Muhammad mother name? Because she was a pagan. And Muhammad, he said his mother and his father, they will go to hell. And Muhammad, he says, women, they are najis. Have you ever heard of a person respect his mother? She, he called her najis. Muhammad, he cried to Allah, asking for three things. One of them to forgive his mother and his father. He did not. You are ignorant. Secondly, as a chapter of Maryam in the Quran, who said that Muhammad called chapter of Maryam? Show me. This is, you, this is the name you gave. There's nowhere in the Quran it says this is a chapter of Maryam. It is something you gave it a name because this is about, uh, speak about Maryam. So it's not you who name it this way. The story of Maryam there, so we call it chapter of Maryam. I will give you just an example of the stupidity of this answer. When the Quran called the chapter of the Baqarah, the cow, does that mean Allah is honoring the cow? Are you a Hindu now? Hey people, be my witness, based on the answer of this Abdul, Allah is a Hindu, he is honoring the cow, he gave it a name of a chapter, he did not give it to the camel, he did not give it to the lizard, he did not give it to the sheep. You see how silly your, 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 your logic, you must have your copy paste from the stupid Zakanaik, he have a low IQ, this is why they don't dare to debate me, I demolish whatever they say in a second. Because your IQ is so low. Did Allah honor the spider? There's a chapter, it's called the chapter of the elephant. You must be a Hindu elephant. The God of the Hindu is an elephant. He has like many in the nose and you know. What is, what, see this see the see the silly answer. We just showed you the Quran saying women are stupid and say so why the Quran called the chapter of Maryam Maryam? I mean do you see how desperate they are to find an answer? It is a lucky time for you that you are present in the lucky time of me. After I die most of them they will go and debate the Christians and they can refute maybe Christians who didn't know what they are talking about. But with me you have you are a zero. With me you are a zero. Your God is a zero. I hope nobody will take your statement now and make a video about it. The God of Islam is a God who honor cow and he is a Hindu. Because you excuse if if Allah is against women, then how I call the chapter Maryam? And by the way, just here to show you how stupid this chapter. Why this chapter is called the chapter of the cow? If I ask a Muslim, how Allah here resurrect people from death? Hey Muslims, how Allah resurrect people from death? They will say to you, if Allah wants, he say, be is going to be. That's false. According to the Quran, the same chapter, this is what the cow, the, the, called the chapter of the cow. Moses, he have a person who got killed. The Jews, they came to him and they said, there's somebody, he was killed. How we know who killed him? Allah, he told him, go and get some beef the penis of the cow, or the tear of the cow, or the tongue of the cow, and beat the dead guy with it. And then Musa, he came, Habibi, wake up Habibi, the guy is dead. And by the way, the Muslim, they have a miraculous video about this verse, it says, reviving the heart of somebody by massage. This is a massage? The guy is dead. And we are not doing massage, we are beating him with beef. So the liars, they make a video says how the Quran speak 
about how to give CPR and massage to the heart to bring somebody almost dying. This verse about a guy who was killed by a sword. I mean, do you see how they lie? Go search the video. Go right now, search Quran Scientific Miracle, chapter 2, verse 73. Massage. This is massage. The guy was killed by a sword, not somebody have heart attack. But do you see how they lie, try to deceive the fool of you? Because always there is somebody fool there, you know. They can. It's like it's like a fishing for the fool, you know. How we can find a fool in the crowd so we can fool the fool? But guess what, Muslims? You are fishing for the fool. That will make you more fool. Because who join you is a fool already. Otherwise, you will not join. So you did not get better, you get worse. Heart massage. Quran. I try to find the video. Let us see. Maybe I should add the word scientific miracle. Anyway, you can find it and so you can laugh. But look at the verse here in the Quran. How this God, he claimed that this is how Allah, he resurrects people from death. This God is a Hindu God. He claimed that cows, they have power of healing. So what he did? He told Musa, hey Moshe, go and get some beef, the penis of the ox. You have to be an ox, by the way, you have to be a male. Some they say his tail, some they say his tongue, depending on the interpretation. And then beat the guy. And the funny thing, it says, and this is how Allah, he resurrect people. Look, this is how Allah, he do that. Read carefully. Thus, Allah bring the dead to life. Look, what? This is how Allah bring people from death to life by beating them by beef? What is the name of this guy who the Muslim attack his house? He's a Muslim. What's his name? The guy who who, uh, who caught the hadith about Allah, the Allah will resurrect people from his sperm. Anyone remember the name of the video? And the name of the guy, I forgot. Abu, Abu, Abu Harith? What's his name? I forgot his name. And I do not, I don't remember the name of the video. But in the in the video, this guy, he read the hadith, and he opened the umbrella in the top of his head. Reading the hadith about Allah will drop rain like a sperm. Abu Layth, Abu Layth, I think. Abu Layth. The second you say the truth, the Muslim they go crazy. Is that? We can say that the Quran strongly suggests, the Quran seems to have a very strong indication that uh, Isa is coming. However, it is not definitive and it is not conclusive in and of itself. Abis, hello. This is strong. <laughs> strong.
people. Strong suggestion. Pay attention. Just from the language of the Quran and just from the context of the Quran, we give it the presumption, but not the certainty. <laughs> so that's the strong inkling, strong suggestion Jesus is coming in the Quran. It's not actually anywhere in the Quran, but khair, strong. As for... Okay, let's uh, move to the, to the sperm hadith. Read carefully and laugh with me. But then Allah will say, now <laughs> I have to translate this so brace yourselves people. Allah will send there's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm whoa, people. Let me repeat. Yeah, look at it for yourselves. Thumma yursilullahu ma and Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth, fluid from beneath His arsh. So beneath His throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> This is going to shower down on the globe and what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to uh, to once again life. So sperm, <laughs> so for that people, I had to, had to, yeah. so, <laughs> I love it when Muslims they laugh at their prophet because at the end of the day the one who's saying that is Muhammad and this guy he went out of his mind and he could not believe it that is a prophet saying so isn't it perfect stupid religion You dispute Allah perfect knowledge of women? Uh, uh, you know, uh, Vico, I don't know if you are, you are Vico or you are two Vico. Are you one Vico or two Vico? You dispute the religion of what I know what I mean. Is it Allah? He said if you want to take a partner, he will take from ourself, from the women at the whore. How how women they have deficiency and he want to take a partner from them? Stupid God. You don't partner with a fool unless you are a fool. Correct, guys? A person who partner with a fool, he is a fool. And this is the foolish Muhammad. In one place he says Allah resurrect people by beating them by beef. In the other place he says Allah will ejaculate semen. The hadith says like semen, but it's semen. because Why he is mentioning it like semen and why he says ejaculate if it's not semen? So this ejaculation coming from the throne of Allah. Well, who is in the throne of Allah? Allah. So either this ejaculation coming from his anus or coming from his penis, choose one. And that water ejaculation is going to come down and is going to resurrect people from death. And this guy is reading and could not believe what he's reading. Allah will send down on earth, shower down on earth, Fluid from beneath his arsh. So beneath his throne, there's a collection of fluid, which is kamaniyir rijal, which is like the sperm of men. <laughs> this is going to shower down on the globe. And what's going to happen is this is going to then give birth to, uh, to once again life. So sperm... <laughs> So for that, people, I had to, had to, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it beautiful that time come, and we make Muslims laugh at the religion? Isn't it beautiful? The end of his time is coming so fast. Who is a Muslim when I see this, and he will not die laughing at the stupidity of this religion? So they flood the internet with miracle of the Quran, scientific miracle of the Quran, but then one video destroy all their scientific miracles. Islam is a joke. Islam is evil. 
Islam is a cult. Islam is an insult to mankind, insult to women, insult to men, insult to humanity. Fight Islam, but don't fight Muslims. Help them. We don't hate Muslims. Help them. They need help. That's why we are making those videos. So we can show the Muslims that they've been lied to. They've been fooled. They've been misled. They've been deceived. There's no God will promise you women with big boobs. That is not God. That is a pimp. That is a pimp in Las Vegas. This is not God. You do not need to be a genius. And then the Muslim, because he is brainwashed, he says to you, what's wrong with that? Don't you like big boobs? No, I don't. Do you? Because if you are caring for the boobs, then go and get a cow. Your God did not even mention the word woman. He mentioned her the boob. She don't count for him as a creature. Her boobs, what is important? You see, in the, in the verse here it says, women. In the verse, it does not say the word women. There's no women there. Suddenly, talking about big breasts. All of them, they have the same size. You see, it says equal age. And nowhere there it says equal age. A trab from the word trab, which means dust, which means all of them, they have the same structure like when you grab a sand in the desert each sand is the same as the other sand they are sand same size same etc so this is what he's saying they are the same exactly the same all of them they have same boobs they can be the same age too they can be the same but but here he mentioned the word boobs so what kind of god this god is he tried to tempt me by wine isn't it obvious wine river of wine grape and right away he jumped to boobs what is the connection i remember this is god talking this is not from god my friend jesus spoke and then that god is speaking he says he and she they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Do you see the difference between Christianity and Islam? So when the Muslims they say we worship the same God, that's a lie. Because your God teach evil. Your God is heaven is sexual. My God, his heaven is pure. He and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Which means when Jesus said, you will be the same as an angel, you as a male and female. That means Jesus, he free you from temptation. He free you from the needs you are going to live forever and you have no needs that is the ultimate freedom you are not going to be tempted you are not going to be needing sex you will not need food you will not need to drink you will not need to sleep you are free live in my heaven free so with the Messiah, you are free from needs. With Islam, you are sexually addicted. You cannot stop even having sex. 70 years, 70 years orgasm, the promise of Muhammad. This is the orgasm alone. If the orgasm is 70 years, how many years is the sex itself? And if Muhammad, he promised a man at least 72 women, and each one of them, her orgasm is 70 years, just to show you how stupid this numbers is. So if if you have sex with a woman, let us say you went to heaven today and you start having sex with the first woman. Okay. I'm going to have supposedly an orgasm of 70 years. That's mean. That's mean. To go back, if I'm just counting the orgasm, not the sex itself, because of the orgasm, is 70 years so maybe the, the sex itself is uh, a thousand years so unless you are a rabbit you have orgasm in two seconds so 72 x 70 this is 5040 years so a muslim man he sleep with the women in order to go back to sleep with the same woman again he have to wait or she have to wait 5040 years 
that is not include the time for the sex this is only the orgasm how stupid is that so after 5040 years I'm going to sleep with the same women so what the point of those all those women <laughs> 5,040 years and you are talking about women have deficiency it is you who have deficiency it is Muhammad with deficiency whoever believe in such a garbage he have a deficiency be smart be vigilant don't be a fool and with this I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you by the way I order a new computer and I will try to do broadcast uh, maybe maybe tomorrow or the day after after I set it up because you know uh, I have many reasons to buy this one is you know it's getting so old and uh, there's other reasons and as you see I found that uh, it's not the keyboard not allowing me to type correctly because even I changed the keyboard still the typing is wrong something wrong you know uh, so uh, I will set it up and we will see I might even change the software for uh, the broadcast so uh, I want to say thank you for all of you for your support and uh, I appreciate those who support us so we can do more and we can buy things and uh, for the atheist if you are an atheist and you are making donation to me please go and delete, delete your donation immediately and don't ever tell me we support you I am not for sale my friend Atheism for me is extreme ugly. You want to donate, you don't donate, this is your business. We are not for sale and we are not going to exchange dollar for belief. So don't even go or try to do, to do that. For those atheists who said we are not going to support you no more, I'm so glad you don't. And don't expect me to be a person who is a hypocrite just because a person who want to give me a daughter, I will say something nice to him. If you go and ask those Christians who send me emails and they are making donation, if they say something wrong, I speak to them the same I speak to everybody. And there's here many, they can witness for that. You make donation, you don't make donation. That is not the reason for me to respect you. The Lord, he said, from their fruit, you shall know them. So, if you have a good fruit, you do fruit of good, not because you want to support me. If you think this is what I do is good, then the good fruit will come. Don't try to make people say things fit with you because you make a donation. I'm not for sale. When a Christian, he say he found the mountain of Sinai, where in Saudi Arabia? You idiot. It says the Mount of Sinai. Where is Sinai? There's the Mount. Stupidity is amazing. I don't care if you are a Christian or not. When a Christian says something stupid, I say to him, you are stupid. This is not about Muslims. It's not. Stupidity is our enemy. The Mount of Sinai. Where in Saudi Arabia? You idiot. It says the Mount of Sinai. Where is Sinai? The name is the Mount of Sinai. You found it in Germany? The Mount of Sinai. Do you know what Sinai mean? The light. So the, here where God appear. Okay, where in the Mount of Sinai? Where is Sinai? And then you say to me, we found the Mount of Sinai in, in Saudi Arabia. Who's a stupid here? It's like, you know, once in Saudi Arabia, they have a question for Ramadan. Like you answer the question, uh, you get one ounce of gold if you can answer it. So the guy, he go in the street and he asks the question. And then he asks, Air Condition New York, what is the name of, of the air condition? The guy, he think, he think, Air Condition New York, what is the name of the air condition? Um, I don't know. Okay, second person, Air Condition New York, what is the name of the air condition? Air condition your rock. I'm not familiar really. Okay, next. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty. And nobody is winning. I mean, the guy, he just gave you the name. Air condition New York. What is the name of the condition? 
York. And you find the same foolish people. The Bible says the Mount of Sinai. Sinai. Okay, what is Sinai? <laughs> then they say to you, we found the Mount of Sinai in, in Saudi Arabia. I'm crazy people, what we can do? Anyway, just use your brain. Don't be silly. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, thank you for all the support. And thank you for not supporting too, for that is a blessing to me. The Lord, he says, for those, they curse you. You know, we have a blessing, a special blessing, even when they curse us, even when they get angry from us, even when they hate us, even when they kill us. He said, time will come, and people will think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. But trust me, we are victorious, no matter what. Until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is foolish. Atheism is foolish too. And maybe I should add that to the end of my videos always. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon.